Hey guys, Ian Higton from Eurogamer here, and today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Surgeon Simulator 2013. Now, people might be familiar with the Flash browser based free to play version of this game that was uh, a little bit of a, uh, a hit uh, uh, on YouTube and uh, kind of virally video sites because uh, of its just downright craziness and uh, so bad it's goodness. It's a very easy game to play. Well, it's hard to play, but it's, uh, it's very easy to get into. And uh, the controls here, as you can see, are um, A, W, E, R and space. And they relate to the positions of your fingers. So A, W, E, R, space. And then uh, you can, uh, let's see if I can do rock hand. Rock hand! I could, uh, I could even be a bit naughty. Oi, naughty. Um, and uh, also use the mouse buttons. Use the left mouse. If you click the left mouse, you adjust the arm's elevation. So you can go up or down. I've knocked my wristwatch off. And uh, you also use the right mouse button to control the kind of the direction of your hand. So you can up and down while holding down the right mouse button. Or move your hand up and down. And you can also move it left to right like that. It's very cool. Uh, this is the this is just the lobby, the main menu of the game. It's all very interactive. I tried to answer the phone, but I knocked it off. There's normally comedy messages there uh, when you listen to that, um, and uh, it's pretty cool. There's a lot to play around with. I found oh, I found that if you eject that, and let's knock these out of the way. I'll see if I can do it. It's quite tricky to get the discs in, but you can uh, you can fiddle around with the discs. Change the discs. Gone. I need it. Oh, I lost it. Went off the table. See if I can get this disc. Come on, you. Oh, I've lost both discs. You can get the disc, you can plug it in. There's little. There's not really any extra games or anything. It's just uh, some little funny uh, 1988 Encyclopedia Britannica programs and things. But the main menu is here. you got achievements. This is on Steam that I'm playing it as, as well. I should really have said that. At the start, I'm playing it on Steam. And do you have to pay for this version? It's £6.99. Compared to the one-leveled... Uh, flash version. Uh, this version has multiple levels. Well, it's got three levels as far as I can tell. A heart transplant, a kidney transplant, a brain transplant. And uh, it's also got an ambulance mode, which I've not unlocked yet. Not yet, Nigel. That's who I'm playing as. I'm heart transplant, kidney transplant, and brain transplant again. So I'm guessing that possibly you're doing the same, uh, <laughs> same uh, precarious operations, but using... Uh, but you're in an ambulance, so everything's going to be a bit wobbly. I got, I've done the heart transplant because that's the level most people have seen. I've got a D on it, so I'm going to try a kidney transplant for the first time ever, um, and uh, see how I get on with it. Uh, hopefully, I'm okay with the controls. It's, I can't. Let's go, Nigel. There you go. It's like you. I think your doctor's on drugs, and he kind of passes out there. So first up you have to uh, get rid of the the gauze, the medical gauze or cover covering this guy so move the hand down, grab and pull it away. Now I actually made that kind of look a, a lot easier than it is. The first couple of goes it would just be a nightmare uh, for you to try and do things. Now I've got to find two kidneys in amongst all this mess and uh, there's a variety of tools you can use. Uh, the hammer is normally the best though there's a drill, there's knives, um, this is the guy I'm operating on, Let's see if I can uh, calm him down, shh, it's okay, it's okay, I'll be gentle, <laughs> stop panicking, stop panicking, no, that was nasty. Right, uh, okay, so kidneys are underneath all of this mess, I guess. But I'm going to have to cut it out. Now, let's see if I can remove some ribs. Up in the top right, you can see the blood level. Uh, so the blood level is basically your, uh, your, your stamina bar for your, your patient. Any lower than zero, and he's a gunner. <laughs> ah. oh, I don't think... If you use the wrong tools on things as well, they kind of the blood drops a lot quicker. That's dropping very fast on its own. What have I done? I've, I've, I think I've done some irreparable damage. Oh god! Um, 
I need to get his kidneys out fast. But if I can pull on this, and then his intestines, I can't get it out. I've knocked something out that's causing him to bleed internally. I need to, uh, I need to get his intestines out. Quick, smart. I've got a scalpel here. Come on, chop them intestines. Quick, he's bleeding. He's bleeding faster. <laughs> Hard to get it out. I'm not sure this is the right way to do it. Uh, no. Ooh, ooh. It doesn't look like it's come loose yet. I'm just kind of randomly jabbing at it. Cut it. Get in there. I don't, I better not leave the scalpel in. I'm pretty sure that hasn't made a dent. Can I, no, still, still stuck fast. Oh, I've got, oh, whoop, oh, that's like his liver or something. Let's stick that over there. What is this? Yeah, maybe I can use this. Blech. Come on. What are, you, what are you? I don't even know what that piece of equipment is. Is it a rib spreader? Looks nasty. Uh, some kind of scissors. <laughs> Can't get the wrist right. Get in there. No. Oh. Failed. Uh, let's see if I can put him out of his misery. Get, if I can only get my wrist in the right position and get this drill. He's nearly dead. Come on, drill. Oh no. It's game over, man. Go to sleep. Go to sleep now. Go towards the light. There you go. Oh, I have no idea how you get his, uh, his uh, intestinal tract out. Let's go back to the menu quick. And, uh, I'll try the heart transplant quickly. Boop. This is one I've done, so I know which tools you need to use. So you go yoink. Oh, no. So far I've not left my watch inside the patient. I'm pretty sure there'll probably be an achievement for that. There's an achievement for some pretty cool things. Alright, let's smash his ribs out with a hammer. Can't be operating with a hammer. Kabla! 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 Oh yeah, his ribs are history. But his 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 blood is down quite a lot now. Let's clear some of this debris out if I can. Get down there. Grab some stuff. That's it. You don't need your rib cage to live. It's not essential. I think I might need to take a few more ribs out. This is like a grimmer, more clumsy version of the board game operation. Ah, come on, hammer. Let's get those edge bones off. Mm. Maybe I can use it to bang his lungs out as well. I think I've, I think I've got one lung loosened up. Come on, other lung. Oh, you know, too much, too much. Oh, I dropped a hammer on his head. Whoops. Sorry, dude. Well, the good news is, I think I have freed at least one lung from the body cavity. Come on, come on, pull it out. Yeah, that's one lung done on the floor. I don't need that. Another lung. Yeah, oh, yeah. Full of lungy goodness. And then, but, but, but. I have a feeling this is his liver, but uh, 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 uh. <coughs> right. The next part involves some handy knife work. I don't know if you can use the cotton buds for anything. Have I got a knife? I've got a knife. It's attached to my little finger somehow. So, let's go in and chop it up. Come on, cut that valve. There we go. 
cut this one. I think that's the esophagus down to the stomach. All gold. Come on. Chop that valve. Chop the esophagus. It's running out of it's running out of time, Doctor. There you go. That's chopped. And let's just go straight in and cut the heart valves. Let's see if I can't loosen that heart. Right, the heart stopped beating. This is critical now. He's dropping. His blood pressure is dropping. I'm not sure whether I need to get all this stuff out, but let's clear that out. And come on, get rid of the bad heart. Go away, bad heart. It's not going. <laughs> oh god, it's this is like um, if you've ever played Quop, then you'll kind of know how weird this is to control. It's actually not as difficult to control as Quop. I don't want the lid. I want the heart. Come on. But it's the same kind of just weird controls that confuse your brain. There we go. Got the heart and. It should be the end of the operation once I drop it in the chest cavity. Kablowie! There we go. Surgery complete. Looks fine to me. I'm sure he'll live. All right. I've got a D again, but uh, the surgery was complete. I've earned my paycheck for the day. So there you go. That's Surgeon Simulator 2013. Um, for those of you who want, there is a annotation on screen right now that will take you straight to Christian Donlan's Eurogamer review of uh, of uh, this very game. And he gave it a seven out of ten, which is a very good, uh, very good score for the game. And uh, I think he just, I think he liked the so bad it's goodness. He called it, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Where did he? He says Surgeon Simulator 2013 is an arm simulator. Uh, the arm just happens to be attached to a surgeon. But yeah, it's a very cool game. 6.99 on Steam. There is a free Flash based version if you want to um, uh, browser based Flash version if you want to try it out for free. But it's pretty cool and uh, it's, it's just stupid. So bad it's good fun. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye!